people are now getting, you know, intrigued with the ideas that are coming from AI. Um, but no one really ever saw this coming, right? I mean, in the electrical engineering space, you know. Um, when, what do you feel is going to be the tipping point where people are just going to kind of abandon the way they do things today and like move to a more, you know, AI based platform? Well, entrepreneur. It, well, we're talking about double E's, right? Or yeah, pretty much. Are you talking about like people? mass in general i think i think double e's do you think do you think that this would open open this up open pc pcb design electrical engineering to people who are not hardware engineers do you think it could do that yes and no okay <laughs> <laughs> the way i say the reason i say yes is because it could ease the it could ease it could lower the the high barrier in terms of learning to gain gaining access to information. Right. That's been the huge problem. So that's why we have these courses that have only started coming out. I think the first course I saw online publicly right. was in 2013, Robert Ferranic's first right, course. Right. Right. Because I was looking for PCB design before that. Craig Missner's book, Complete PCB Design. And then I published the first in 2017 on Udemy. Since then, more courses have started coming out the woodwork and everything. Right. AI allowing you to have information at your fingertips right. helps ease that process and do the self-learning. Problem though is with how easier that is to get into it, getting into the deep trenches and books and everything, um, how do I say? It? Experience being the only real teacher of PCB design. Yeah. It's possible to get into this loop where I have all this knowledge, but I actually don't know how to actually get the board done. I think it's going to widen that gap a little bit hmm. and then cause for people who are mentors or who are knowing what they're actually doing to help the guide people step by step. I, th I guess in a way it yes, for sure, but it no in the sense that there can be a false sense of security and confidence uh, developed through all this information because it's yeah. in the doing that the PCB design gets done. Right. And uh, despite all the kind of information that people have collected for years, right. um, it takes like someone showing you a lot of times to actually do it. Yeah, to go, it's, yes, to go from not knowing to knowing something definitely can take a mentorship to, to get you there. Yeah. Or an, on, or an online course, you yeah. know. Um, sure. So I don't know. I guess, I guess yes. The information is for the fingertips. I'll say an overall yes in terms of the ease to be able to actually get there. It's just more materials are needed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm.